What's going on gamers? Russ Lyman here and you're in for a treat with this video because you're watching Linda aka The Gamer Girl. Hey guys, Linda aka The Gamer Girl here and I'm going to do a response video to David. Basically, he made a video about five game series that he hates. So I'm going to do a twist on that and I'm going to do game series slash types of games that really got under my skin after a while and if you disagree, let me know in the comments below. I don't mind a rebuttal. So like David, I have a series that I personally am tired of them charging full price. He said FIFA and I'm going to say the American football, Madden. Madden was a good go-to game when I was growing up and I still play it today. But the one thing that really irritated me was the fact that over time, the graphics didn't get better. Only minor changes to rosters and stuff like that was happening. And I'm like, why am I paying $60 every time for a brand new game just to find out that in about a year, they're gonna renew again. So anymore nowadays, I only keep what I want and that is I have one of the original ones and I have one for 15, but I'm not gonna buy brand new anymore. And also there is that curse. I don't know. I feel like I'm contributing to that curse that every time an athlete's on this cover, they have a bad season next year, so. Uh. Next one on the list is not necessarily a game, but a collection of games. And that is the Atari collection. Now, personally, I love Atari and I love their games, but lately they've been throwing out the same collection for every system. Now, that sounds good because you're like, oh, I could take it on the go and everything like that. But when you already got mm, about two, three of those, it gets really annoying because I'm wanting some new games, I'm wanting some games from 5200, but I don't want to keep having to buy two, three volumes of what I could get on a RetroPie. Now, I know those are going to be people that hate emulation, but for me personally, if you're going to do that, why not just throw all the games into one collection and charge $60 or $70. I'd rather do that. Yes, I know Blu-ray discs have a limit, but these games are really tiny. You can't tell me that you cannot get more than 50 games on each disc. Come on. And it took them volume three to finally get some brand new games because they realized that, hey, Nobody's happy with volume one and two. They already have those games. So I never picked up volume three because I personally am not going to keep supporting it. I'm going to, I'm going to wait until they're $10 and then I'm going to pick it up. But from now on, anytime anymore, there is a new game for a collection for Atari. I'm just going to wait because that's, that's just the pattern for anything. So PS5, the new Xbox, whatever it's going to be called. I'm already going to see. They're going to have them on there. Now, the next games on the list are not necessarily as series in general, but uh, more of a movie franchises. I personally cannot fathom why a lot of movie companies decided to put their movies on games. It was really bad back in the day. And you still have games that are hit or miss with movies. So it's like, ugh. Cash 22, like, do you really want to get a movie that you love and destroy it with a game? But I will say not every game is like that, but for the most part, you got some really bad ones in there. And so that's why I always say, wait, wait until you can see if it's actually worth your money. And if you can find it cheap, pick it up. Next on the list for number four is BAM. Game shows. It's the same thing with like Madden. You're paying full price for the same game. Just new puzzles. I feel like it's an add-on or DLC in my opinion. And 
I'm not gonna pay full price for something that keeps coming out over and over again with like packages and stuff like that. I'm just gonna play this one and if I get bored with it, I'll put it on the shelf. I'm not gonna go and buy the brand new Wheel of Fortune, the brand new Family Feud. <laughs> nah. I only have these as time fillers for when I have friends over, family over, and they don't want to play, uh, you know, some shooters, some Doom, Gears of War. They love their game shows, so that's why I have this, is time fillers and for the family. So the next one on my list is going to be something that is going to be hard to explain, but I'm going to try my best. So, there were for a while... Everybody was going with the sports athletes, you know, like, we're going to throw Michael Jordan into a game. Larry Bird, you got it. We are going to have John Elway on these games. And that really ticked me off because, yeah, one really good game, one bad game, one really good game, one bad game. So it was a hit or miss with this one. And, you know, like, you had Tony Hawk who destroyed it, who did really good, made sure everything was up to par on that and you're like oh yes okay i'm gonna get kelly slater K kelly slater was fun i liked the surfing i loved matt hoffman you know dave mira like they had some really good games and then you're like okay i'm gonna keep buying them and like a knucklehead i am i'm not bothering to worry about reviews hey look sean white's got a game out let's get it Let's get it. <sighs> yeah. Wasted uh, some money on this one. So that's why I always wait <laughs> anymore. Don't matter what it is. It could be Ken Griffey Jr. came back. Woo! Uh, gonna wait and see if the game is still good. Because for me, I'm not gonna be fooled anymore by fancy marketing and snowball fights on the trailers because those always got me so <laughs> guys that is my response to david if you are new hit the sub button i'm gonna put a link in the description below of his video go check it out it's a really funny one he puts them out there that i'm like ooh. Well, okay, he's going to have debates in his comment section, but I know I'm going to get debates in my comment section for this. So thank you to everybody for watching all the way through. And as always, keep on gaming, everybody. I'll catch you in the next video. And remember, be a smart consumer. Don't just give your money away. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Linda, the gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games. Linda the Gamer Girl. She's here, she's playing games.